Hey guys, Kid Guru here for the Tech World, and uh, today I have a Tech World tutorial for you all on OpenDNS and how to set it up, and basically how to get faster, much faster internet connection with OpenDNS. Now, essentially, it's not a connection type thing, but a service that enables type tweaks. I guess you can say a great service that you know basically enables pretty much faster surfing, uh, etc. So, um. I'm not using the intro, I know some people are asking, because with partnership, I have to double check. It is royalty free music, but I just want to, you know, be safe before I go, you know, putting the intro in. So I'm just clearing, clarifying that all up before I start using it again. Um, anyhow, this may be a long one, and you're probably going to hear me say basically a lot in this video. I'll probably tell you that now. Um, and so, yeah, um, with the 10 minute limit, I pretty much wavered that with the partnership, so I'm glad that's happened. And without further ado, let's start. What is OpenDNS? You're probably asking that obviously first. OpenDNS stands for Open Domain Naming System. Domain Name System, I should say. I'll drag it over here. I have the wiki on it here. Basically, this just associates an IP address like 2.208.77.1866 to something like example.com or whatever. I mean, when you go to a site like google.com, it transcodes it from its IP. It has to connect to the IP address and connect to the server. Domain Naming System was domain name system was basically created for you know the generation of this community basically to make it easier for us so we don't have to remember you know we're not all geeks I mean you know everybody doesn't know that's like 192.168 whatever whatever for certain sites it would just be much harder and domains make that easier so um, it also relies on that that's what OpenDNS relies on that and as well as cash this is how it makes it faster it's pronounced just like cash cache but not the money I mean it's pronounced like that way but it's not money it's a collection of data duplicating original values stored elsewhere computed earlier so basically it's gonna store your information that Firefox does stuff like that but I think it stores it under its servers I believe because I was I was wondering if it does it on Firefox's cache or their own cache I believe it does stores on DNS's cache saves it so next time it loads a page instead of connected to the IP it connects to open DNS open DNS loads a page right away much faster pages a fear fat faster and you connect faster fills in the gaps that your ISP doesn't provide I guess you could say so that um, let's get on to how is it faster I pretty much just explained that on how it's faster but um you know the cache etc but they also have a page for you here on how it shows um, all the servers they have they have a lot of servers and it has any cast routing technology which you know lets you to connect a lot of their servers here and um, it shows what here on what is DNS, how it works right there. As you see, transcodes the URL to open DNS, connects to the page, much much faster. Instead of you know, it's computer readable numbers, but not using the IP address, etc. It just makes it seem much faster. It's not only seem, but is faster. So how is it rely more reliable than you know when you're not using DNS, open DNS? Um, and basically, uh, as you see here, they have a lot of DNS servers, and they have self balancing system insurance, insure speed, a type of a uh, it kind of a double check a trial and error type connection so as you see here for example it shoots out NTT connections into the DNS server the DNS server then shoots it back out to another internet tube and it has a trial and you know error check and it has you know the data center is just cross you know it's self balanced and which gives it a lot of trial and error and they can you know find out what's working what's not and it gives you you know much much more reliable connection I mean it's like channeling back and forth through different servers and internet tubes that it just works. I mean sites that either loaded up slower on when I didn't wasn't using the DNS service, it is free, no installation. Um low faster, some of them which on you know without open DNS didn't load at all. And when I got open DNS they worked fine. Um so let's see here. Um moving on. How we're they can go to how you're smart if you want, but I'm gonna go into how we're safer. Now they have if you sign up for an account, I would recommend doing that. I have one, I'm just not logged in right now. Sign up for an account either before or after. Recommend before, obviously. They give you options to block dozens of categories in your network. It'll go through DNS and then if it knows uh that it'll go through the domain tagging system. So it'll check your default tags, it'll check default sites that they know have been listed for uh, you know, spam, whatever, and it'll block it right off the bat. Um just like and it, it works great with Firefox 3 security, so with those two combined, you know, it's going to be pretty hard to go to, a, you know, a malware site or malware infected, whatever, without you being warned, you know. So obviously after that, if, you know, you're warned, uh, don't continue, obviously. If you do continue, then, yeah, there's something wrong. So, and they're free. Like I said, they're much, much more smarter than, you know, local uh, ISPs, you know, do a great job, obviously. But OpenDNS, the service is just amazing, guys. Amazing. Oh, sorry, close it there. 
Um, how to set it up. That's what you're all wondering. I'm sure how to set it up. Very, very easy. Get started. Um, so then you're going to pretty much, you can do this between network computers. So if you do it on a router, which is recommended best for home computers, you can do it on a single computer. I would recommend just doing it for a router. If you don't have a router, I guess you can do it for, you know, your laptop or whatever, or DNS servers. That's a little bit more different. I would recommend router. Most likely all you have a router. When you do it with a router, it sends it out not only to your, you know, desktop computer, but it'll go to wireless, you know, laptops that are connected to that network. So it has a huge array of routers chosen here. I have Linksys. Uh, I happen to have Linksys, so it's very easy. I mean, even under routers, I'm sure. If you have a Linksys, just connect to 192.168.1.1, which is your router page, and the rest have different router pages. Log in, and on the first page, just scroll down, and you'll see static DNS 1 and 2. Just change their addresses. They're probably blank, um, 000. Just change them to these two uh, addresses, and it connects to open DNS service. That's it. It's easy, that easy. Just simple copy and paste all these numbers in. Uh, it's probably the same for other routers. You just hit save settings. It goes through the open DNS and it turns the system online. And that's it. You All you have to do is copy and paste that in. That's how simple it is to set up open DNS. Um, then you can create an account, obviously, and then customize. By customize, you can actually get more features, like a uh, safer part. You can, you know, if you have children, you can tag, add your own tags, pick out certain categories, pick out certain sites, etc. And you can set up keyboard shortcuts or, like, if I was to type... Okay, let's say I type in google.cmo. Let's say you're typing really fast and you accidentally type in cmo. That's, you know, obviously has to be com. OpenDNS realizes that and it transcodes it to open, I mean, <laughs> google.com just because you can turn that on. And it also has a feature called, uh, what do you call it? It's like shortcuts, basically. So I type in tw, standing for tech world, and it loads my site. Now, the first time you get OpenDNS, when you go to a site, it may take a while because it's storing all the cache on that site. So next time it'll open faster. As you noticed there, when I went to Adrian's Tech, it took a little bit. But my you know, my thing has a stream, has chat, everything. Now, obviously, when I go to a site like Google, it loads instantly, or should load instantly, anyhow. Let me close everything here. Sorry there. I mean, this, I'm telling you guys, trust me, it's great. I give it 10 out of 10. Um, so I'm going to give you a couple examples if I go to youtube.com and one, you know, a couple seconds I'm there. Not notice now it doesn't have to load. Anything. Pretty much everything was pretty much loaded for me because of cache. And I mean, if I go to a site like New York Times, which has a lot of flash content, a lot of, you know, all this content loads up just like that because I've been to it before. Look how much content is on this front page, guys. <laughs> Look at that. It goes on and on. Huge amount of links. It's just like a huge newspaper made into a web form, guys. Um, I mean, another site, maybe like uh, Gmail. Dot, or no, I don't want to log into my Gmail, really. Uh, here, let me think of another site. Hmm, trying to think, trying to think. Apple.com has, you know, some stuff on it. So I'll go to Apple.com. Actually, I haven't been there before, I think, with OpenDNS, have I? Because I just got OpenDNS recently. And, um, there's more. Uh, people like Chris Perillo, uh, Jeff from uh, BestTechie.net have done great reviews on it. And you just see it's much, much quicker. It works great with Firefox for you guys. Highly recommend getting it. Open DNS. I'll leave the link in the video descriptions along with other links. Be sure to check out our website at www.adrianstech.com. Also, our new blog at blog.adrianstech.com. Feel free to comment, guys. Um, I'd love to hear your feedback. And, of course, leave all feedback, concerns, comments, whatever. Email me at adrianstech at gmail.com with a video request or whatever. Let me know what you think. You know, Let me know what you want to see. Stuff like that. Anyhow, guys, uh, sorry it's a long one, but just, you know, it's going to improve internet performance by much, guys. Uh, highly recommend it. Again, thanks for watching, guys. Have any questions, send me an email, adriansec at gmail.com. Thanks for watching.